Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Series 10 today again, um, where we're playing in Luminator's VGC um, Series 10 tour. I keep calling them tours, but I don't really know if that's the right word, but that's what we're going to call it. And we're using a new team. Um, I did kind of give you a sneak peek to yesterday when I was using it again, that viewer battle. But um, it's a hail team because I have to make a hail team. It is a ritual at this point. Um, Palki is scary. How do we beat Palki with this? Um, let's, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, I think... Chandelure is pretty scary too, to be honest. I think I'm gonna lead Necrozma and... The Vish, maybe? No, let's lead Necrozma with... Rillaboom. And then the back, I think we bring... Toxapex, because it'll wall out Palkia a little bit. I've not played against a single Palkia team, so this is pretty scary. And then I'll just bring Ninetales in the back. Um, yeah, I'm going to release a rental code for this team uh, at some point after this. Um, the rental code's already all ready to go, but I'm just going to play with it today. You'll get to see how it does. Hopefully, it does really well, and we can uh, we can be in the top with this Hail team. I won't be able to play the full length of the tournament, though, so we got to get a lot of wins real fast. Chandelure wins a cut. Okay, that's fine. Um, They probably have Imprisoned Trick Room, right? What do you think? Hmm. I think I'm going to have to switch Necrozma out here. Maybe not. Let me think. I'm going to go for the Trick Room. Oh, actually, I'm going to Rock Slide. And I'm going to also High Horsepower. And hopefully Chandelure just doesn't take a KO here. Taunt. Okay, that's fine. I know there were a lot of options that they had here. Um, Yeah, like I said, hopefully... Okay, yeah. They went for Imprison and Taunt. That's so crazy. Okay, we got to just knock out Chandelure for free then, I think. Yes, excellent. Um, as long as Rock Slide doesn't miss. Fantastic. What a great first turn. Um, but we are taunted for at least a little while. Which is not fantastic, but it's fine. Ooh, eject button, okay. So they get two fresh Pokemon. <laughs> They can bring in their whole back if they want. Corviknight's in the back. Okay, that's fine. Corviknight does like to deal with Rillaboom, I think. And Wimsicott like, comes back in. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Um, the Crosba's not really scared of either of these Pokemon. I'm still a little taunted. I'm going to go ahead and just Sunsteel Strike into Wimsicott. And I think we need to switch out here. Um, I'm going to switch into Ninetales, and hopefully that's not a bad call. We need to save Rillaboom for Palkia, because at least Palkia can't hit it for that hard. Tailwind? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. Um, the speed control really doesn't matter that much against my team. Iron Defense. Okay, that's fine too. Whew. This should KO Whimsicott. That is a long animation. <laughs> All right, we are real far in the lead, but we can still lose very hard here. Oh, let me tell you now before I forget. Um, if you like the video, leave me a like. Um, as for comments, um, tell me what Pokemon you want to see for Series 10. Um, always, wanna, I'm always interested in that, you know, knowing what everybody wants to see. And then, um, am I still taunted? This one. 
Yes, this is my last taunt turn. I would like to Trick Room here, but I cannot. Okay, I want to just Photon Geyser for damage. And I'm going to try to get an Aurora Veil up, I think. Um, For comments, let me know what Pokemon you want to see for Series 10. Ooh, that's a hard miss. Body Press? Focus Sash. Oh, I didn't even do that much. That's fine. Aurora Veil time. This was like a free turn, kind of, to be honest. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, I don't think we're in danger of getting KO'd by Hydro Pump anymore, to be honest with you. Ah, they're leftovers. Okay. I, I'm sure that's already been revealed, but I didn't see it yet. Um, okay, so I think I'm just gonna double... Actually... I'm gonna set the Trick Room. And I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam on the off chance they decide to leave Ninetales alone. Hydro Pump? We should take that. Yes, we take it pretty well. They might double up into Necrozma this turn. They do. We might take that too. Yeah, look at that. Which means Dazzling Gleam KOs Palkia. And we get the Trick Room off. And the Tailwind... Uh, does the Tailwind run out this turn? There's so many end of end of turn things. It does not look like the Tailwind ran out. Let me double check. This is the last turn of Tailwind. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, I guess I'll Rock Slide and Blizzard just for some damage. I think my two Pokemon in the back can definitely deal with Corviknight. That is not very much damage. Um, hopefully, Toxapex can uh, win the you know the war against Corviknight here. This should do a good chunk. Yeah, that's a good chunk. Ooh, okay, that's fine. I don't think Corviknight ever beats Toxapex, but if it starts just like getting defense boosts so it can body press really hard, maybe. But we can get a burn on it, so this might be a long end game if they decide to play it out. Alright, my boy Ty- Oh, I can just haze anytime I want! That's so good! Okay. And we're faster because of Trick Room. So this turn is Scald and Blizzard. Ooh, we live. Look at that. No more hail, but that's okay. Scald again. Blizzard again. I think they might just roost this turn, to be honest with you. Give me a burn. Give me a burn, please. Make this easier for me. Yes! They do roost, but that's okay. Um, man, they are, they are just playing it out, which is nuts. We're canceling out their leftovers now with burn. I'm gonna... What, how many turns of Trick Room do we got? Just one. I'm gonna... S 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and haze this turn. And I'll protect. I still have more mons left too, so like... I really don't want to play a timer game for my first game, but like... If they're gonna make us do it, we're gonna have to do it, right? Alright, um, Scald. How many Scalds? I didn't PP Max anything. Oh my gosh. What a mistake. Um, okay, Scald. Let's switch into Rillaboom here because it's really low risk. I'm guessing they don't have a Flying type move. Because they, we already know they have Iron Defense, Roost, Iron Head, Body Press. Yeah, yeah, they don't have a flying type move. Iron Head, some damage. That's not much damage at all, actually. And then, um, does Woodhammer do more damage than High Horsepower here? High Horsepower is neutral. I think Woodhammer does more damage because of Grassy Terrain. And stab. So I'm gonna go for wood hammer. Oof. Maybe it doesn't. Bruh, can you just give up? There's no way. I don't wanna have to edit. Oh my gosh, my encoding keeps getting overloaded. Could you please? Holy cow. I'm sorry. I'm upset with my computer, I guess. I need... I have apps that are open. Let me close some, maybe. Hmm. Well, I can't just scald forever. I mean, I can. And I'll always have more HP than them, I think. And more mons, to be honest. I don't know. Let's haze this turn just to do it. And then... Oh, high horsepower doesn't hit at all. Unless they roost. But I think I move before them, so that doesn't really help. This is Woodhammer again. I should probably be stalling out the timer, to be honest with you. But that's so much work. <laughs> Something just told me that they might iron defense this turn. Ooh, my Joy-Con's gonna die. Yo man, just just please. I don't have a whole lot of time to play. Can you give it to me, please? We're going to sit here and wait, I guess. Let me just switch out my Joy-Cons while I'm sitting here, right? We're just going to stall out the timer. Oops. Oops. If I... Please connect. Joy-Con. Thank you. Scald. Wood hammer. <laughs> they just go for the body press? Yeah, that's fair. Maybe they didn't see us haze, but that does no damage. Holy cow. They're probably going to roost this turn, right? I'm gonna Scald again, and I'm gonna take this opportunity to just free switch into Ninetales. Let me wait for the timer a little bit, I guess. Uh, 
it's gonna run out of roosts before I run out of like recovers or anything, so like we're kinda just here. You know what I mean? Um, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing okay. I'm um don't tell my wife, but I'm setting up a surprise party for her today. Um she won't watch this video, so like I'm not worried about it. Not because she doesn't love me, because she doesn't like Pokemon and I you know, I can respect that. I understand. If I, if I asked her to, she would, but I don't, you know, I don't want to make her sit through five years of my... Oh, hey, they gave up. <laughs> five years of me playing Pokemon in, in one sitting, you know, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like, um, I, I, I respect her enough to be like, okay, yeah, like, that's fair. I understand it. It's a long video. Wow, hell, ripping through the first team and then, um, having to stall because the Corviknight... I didn't bring a good way to knock it out, really. All right, Dominic Force, what you got, buddy? A Sun Team, okay. I wonder how smart they are. I'm gonna lead Rillaboom Rotom. No, I'm gonna lead Arctivish Rotom. Is that what I want? I think it is. Um, actually. I want to, I wanna like, do the switcheroo and, like, smack the crap out of them with Ficious Rend, you know what I mean? But that needs a lot of Pokemon. You know, Rillaboom's really only great against the Groudon. Alright, let's bring Rotom. And in the back, we'll bring Ninetales and Arctivish. Oh. Oh, hold on. I need to start over because... Arctivish was in the front. Alright, Rotom, Arctivish, Ninetales. I think I need Necrozma. It's really good against everything that isn't Groudon. So if we can get rid of Groudon, we can sweep with Arctivish. I mean, we can sweep with Necrozma probably. I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't bring Arctivish because, like, Rillaboom can just do that job for me. But Arctivish can hit at least most of these Pokemon for neutral. Incin and who else? And Groudon, okay. Well. Um, they're probably gonna fake out here, right? Let me think. What do they have in the back? Uh, they don't have anything that wants to switch on on overheat, really. Especially not in the sun. So I think I'm going to overheat here and protect. Oh, no switches. Okay. Alright, that's surprising, actually. Fake out? Into who? Into Arctivish? That's great. Rock Slide. Yeah, that's fine. Um, if we had switched into Ninetales, that would have been really bad, but it's okay. Oh, yeah. You're gonna take this overheat, and you're not gonna like it. We take, like, no damage. I'm running, not running any defense investment on this Rotom either, and it's just been, like, taking hits. It's great. Ooh, the flinch, though. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's get Ninetales in. And I'm just gonna Ficious Rend into the Groudon now. That flinch sucks. Oof. That flinch sucks real bad. Alright, Rotom switches. Um, Unless Instant switches, that probably means nothing else switches. And the Groudon probably takes this Vicious Ren, to be honest, because we're intimidated. Yeah, that Intimidate mattered a lot. Because we have to run... Um, Okay. Flare Blitz? That's not good. Bye, Arctivish. It was nice knowing you, pal. I'm sorry. I uh, um, miscalculated, I guess. Oof. We don't really have much to deal with this Incineroar outside of Arctivish, so that kind of really sucks. Um, Let's get Rotom back in, I guess. Blizzard will KO this Groudon.
but I think I'm gonna protect this turn. Um, double protect actually, and that way if Hail if they leave Groudon and it just goes down to Hail. Mistakes were definitely made. I should have just mm, I don't that turn one flinch mattered a lot because there's no way overheat in the sun wasn't taking out Groudon. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. What comes in? Grimmsnarl? You think that Grimmsnarl is fake out? I'm hoping that it does not, but you never know. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I'm okay with losing hail, I think. I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam and T-Bolt into Ensign, and hopefully it's not too specially defensive, but it probably is, to be honest with you. I need it to go away before I can really do anything. Light screen. Oh no, that's bad. Yeah, if we could run um Jolly Arc Arctivish, we'd be in a lot better of a position here. Or not, if we could run Adamant Arctivish, we probably would have KO'd. It's Citrus Berry, okay. Yikes. Hey man, could you be nice? Uh. Um, okay. How do we do this? We're in kind of a real bad spot. This instant needs to go away. How fast do we think it is? I really have no idea. Um, it's really hard to get a feel for how fast Ensign is. Scary face. Are you gonna parting shot me? No, well, I mean, I think it's still parting shot. No, Flare Blitz. They're just going on the offensive. That shouldn't do too much. That's not awful. Um, Rockslide my KO now. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> I think we lose for sure. I think our win con is disconnect. <laughs> as as bad as that always sounds. I don't know. Maybe it depends on what's in the back. Is it Venusaur? Is it Groudon? Okay, so there's Groudon. Um, it has a life orb. It goes down to its own life orb damage for sure, right? So I think what I'm gonna I don't have protect on my Necrozma, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and just Rock Slide again. And T-Bolt targeting Grimmsnarl. Um, and if Groudon goes down to its own life orb this turn, then maybe whatever Pokemon I have left can KO their last Pokemon. They scary face again. This time into Rotom, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Heat Crash. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Groudon goes down to Life Orb, right? Yes. What's your last Mon? Please KO. Oh, So close. So close, yet so far. It's Zapdos? Um... I think we lose. Then. Do they have a damaging move on their Grimmsnarl? They haven't gone for one, like, at all. Okay, well, I don't know if we take that. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, if it was Venusaur, I think we would have got it, maybe. Dang. 
that feels bad. I that was definitely winnable. I just I made a mistake. I definitely made a mistake. I should have just overheated again. There was I, that rock slide flinch. Just man, that's okay. Let's get another one. We had such a strong game, uh, first game. That second game hurts. Yeah, um, since we have to run Jolly and Arctivish um, to outspeed Calyrex Shadow, uh, we don't hit quite as hard. You know? Like, you can't really just ignore Intimidate like you can when you can run Adamant on, on Ficious Ren Pokemon. That Groudon was definitely pretty bulky, too, so... It be like that. It do be like that. I might have to edit this video a lot. I really don't want to, but I might have to. Okay. CML. It's a Zacian team. Okay, well we can we can play against Zacian team. Um, let me think. What do I need here? They have Nehalego, which is very scary. Okay, I think I'm going to lead Rillaboom Necrozma. Is that what I want to lead? I think so. Mm. Fake Out is so strong, huh? I will bring Rotom. And I think I'm not going to bring Hail at all. Is there a re The only reason to bring Ninetales would be Urshifu. Um, but it's probably Urshifu Water. What does Toxpec do here, really, though? Okay, okay. No. I'm taking too much time. Okay, Rillaboom, Necrozma, Rotom... Um, nine tails. Hmm. Okay, Incineroar is what I was expecting, and Reggie Lecky makes sense. I think we let okay for this. Um, because we can fake out on their fake out and get Trick Room off this turn. Intimidate sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it does suck that, uh, Dustman and Necrozma can be intimidated, but it's so bulky, you know what I mean? Alright, so I'm gonna fake out here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get Trick Room off. Incineroar is kind of like the biggest hurdle for this team, because if you don't have Arctivish, you kind of don't have a whole lot of options to deal with it. Alright, Incin doesn't get to do that. Volt Switch into Necrozma. That does a decent chunk, but we live. What comes in? Zacian comes in. Okay, that's fine. That's actually just fine. Trick Room goes up. Okay, um, I'm gonna just double target into Zacian, I think. Um, actually, what if it protects? But what if it doesn't? I'm gonna double up. It's probably gonna protect, right? And I think Incinera is probably on its way out, right? I have no idea. Let's double up into Zacian. No protects. Heckin' stonks. Here we go. This is gonna do a ton. This might just KO. Not this attack specifically, but this double up. 
Parting shot into who? Fantastic. We moved first. This Insin is faster than our Krasma, and that is fantastic. What comes in? Did they have a Rillaboom? Nihilego comes in. That's fine. That's fine indeed. This should KO, I think. Oh, no, the Intimidate drops. They suck so much. It can't sub, though. It doesn't have enough HP to substitute. You made a mistake, my friend. A grave error. Okay, we're gonna high horsepower here. And Sunsteel Strike here, I think. Zacian might switch out this turn. Oh, Nihilego switches out into Insin, right? They're gonna intimidate us again. Um, you know, I get it, but also, like... That's mean. Don't do that. <laughs> Zacian does protect this turn, but that's okay. We get the high horsepower into Insin. Oh, we missed. Well, I have to switch now. I have way too many Intimidates. But I could also just double target the Zacian slot and probably still do a ton of damage. They don't have anything that wants to switch in on this double up either to be honest with you. If I just double target this slot again, there's nothing they can really do. Okay, yeah. I think High Horsepower might still KO. I don't know. Now we're two Intimidates deep. Oh, okay. Great. Perfect. Zacian's gone. I don't think we needed the critical hit, but we might have. I'll take it either way. We missed last turn, so, like, I'll take it. We're doing just fine, I think. Um, and now if we can switch around a little bit, Rillaboom kind of deals with everything else. Like, very, very well. Okay, I'm going to switch into Rotom, because that is a safe, safe switch. Um, and let me see here. Which, how many turns of Trick Room? One turn of Trick Room? I'm going to Rock Slide so I can Trick Room next turn. Hopefully we take two Flare Blitz. Um, we could flinch the Incineroar. That'd be nice. Yeah, Aleki protects. That's fine. Please flinch. I've never, I've never needed a, a an Insin to flinch so bad in my life. Please flinch. Just for me, please. Huh. Ooh. Sometimes you just have to ask for it really nicely. Sometimes you have to ask the game really nicely for things. All right, so now I'm going to T-Bolt here, and I'm going to go for the Trick Room, and hopefully they don't have Taunt. Volt Switch. Nihilego gets to come in. That's fine. I think I might prefer Taunt to Flare Blitz here, actually. This should do a good chunk. Yeah, that's a two-hit KO. They did Flare Blitz. Into, into Necrozma, though? Yeah. We don't take it. Unfortunately, we do not take it. But that's okay. Okay, um, I'm tempted to switch Ninetales in, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm gonna switch Rillaboom in, because I don't think there's any way that Nihilego wants to stay in against our Rillaboom. Um, and I have Fake Out Pressure now. So, T-Bolt KOs in Sin, right? And I'm just gonna Fake Out into the Nihilego slot. But I think it's gonna Protect, probably. Ooh, Incense switches out, which is also just fine. Um, which means it's probably going to come in on the Nihilego slot next turn. Yeah. This should still do a good amount of damage. Yeah, Regilecki's not very bulky. 
Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to T-Bolt in the Hilego. And um, Grassy Glide in the Hilego. And that way, um, whether Inswin switches or not, we should do a good a lot of damage to it. T-Bolt. I think they're hoping to get the KO with Sludge Bomb. Meteor Beam. Okay. Um, to be honest, Rotom might even take that. Probably not, but there's a chance. Uh, I should have high horsepower in that slot. I thought about it. Ooh. Well, Rillaboom takes that. This might KO. Perfect. Wow. Okay. Um, so now Insin comes in, and they're probably just going to fake out into Rillaboom and try to get a T-Bolt off, I think. Or they might just raw Flare Blitz into that slot and protect Regieleki. I think no matter what, Rillaboom switches out here, right? So I'm going to T-Bolt in Sin and switch into Ninetales. And I'm okay with losing. Okay, they give up. That's fine. That's great. That's perfect. That is perfect. All right. Wow. We're doing kind of okay, actually. Two two wins, one loss. I'll take it. It's better than two losses, one win, right? Whew. We're probably just gonna go win, lose, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose because that's my luck. But you never know. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> Another Zacian team. Um, Instant Rilla Aleki is so good. Let me tell y'all. Oh, look, they're running Instant Rilla Aleki Urshifu Rapid Strike. They're running the ideal team, guys. Isn't that funny? Okay, um, let me think here. Hmm. I think we lead in a Cosmo Rillaboom again, to be honest. And then we bring Rotom. And then we bring Ninetales, right? Yeah, I think that I think that's what we have to do. I always want to bring Arctivish, but it takes up like, you know, if I bring Arctivish, I have to bring Ninetales and it's two slots, and I know, you know. I, Rotom he is just so good in this matchup. Especially since it's immune to the earth power, and I can just switch it in if there's an earth power coming. You know what I mean? Nothing on this team can really hit Rotom Heat, like, very well, unless they're running Rock Slide. And even then, they're probably not running Attack Investment. Alright, here we go. Surchester Stadium. Oh, it's the rock type Surchester Stadium, though. Ew. I don't know about you guys, but I personally think Gordy looks. I don't. I, he just looks gross. I don't know. I, I. Does that make sense? He looks like he doesn't shower. Is what I'm getting at. Um, so I think I'm gonna go for Trick Room and Fake Out. Because, like, why not, right? Um, this Landorus is not gonna be very threatening to us if we fake it, if, if we get a Trick Room up at all. They might just Bolt Switch into Instant, though, so I guess we'll see. If they protect, then we'll be fine. I think they picked a good lead, but I don't think they picked a lead that was ready for fake out Trick Room. Bolt switch into Insin, probably. Okay, that's fine. Whatever.
Yeah, there he is. There's the boy. Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. We get the trick room off, though, so, like, whatever. I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, now they have fake out pressure, though, which is kind of scary. I'm gonna go ahead and switch Necrozma out, because I know we don't take that Earth Power, I'm pretty sure. And... I'm just gonna wood hammer this slot, actually. To tell you the truth. The only thing that could switch in that would want to take a wood hammer is Zacian, and even then, it's still gonna do, like... 30% or something like that. I love the derpy little smiley face on uh, Sogaleo's mask when it's Necrozma. It really does. It looks like a little tiny smiley face. Okay, Rotom. Landorus switches into Zacian probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Where does the fake out go? Alright, they don't call the fake out right. I could have high horsepowered calling that switch, but I'm okay with this. Now, I kind of want to double target Zacian again. Um... And I think I'm gonna. Actually. Actually, no, I'll just go for the overheat because that probably KOs, right? And then I will high switch Rillaboom, maybe? I don't have anything that wants to switch into a Flare Blitz, though. I'll just high horsepower. I just don't want them to, like, substitute on me. You know what I mean? Because if I leave it alone, it, it's very, very, very likely they could just substitute on me. Jason does protect this turn. Okay, that's fine. That's just fine. Parting shot. Into Rotom. Yeah, that's also fine. I was kind of expecting that. Um, what comes in? Intimidate Cycling is just so good in this format. Okay, so we don't get to do any damage this turn. That sucks. Um, what do we think? Landorus. Do, do we think Zacian switches into Incin, or we think Landorus switches into Incin? Um. I don't think there's any way a Lucky comes in. How many turns of Trick Room do we have? Two? Alright, we're gonna double up here. And hope they don't sludge bomb us because. Ah, right, we, we're at full health. We might take it. It is the Zacian that switches. Good thing we T bolted instead of uh, overheating. Yeah, a lot of these a lot of these matchups, like really the only Pokemon that can do anything is Incineroar, and it does a lot of work, but. It can only do so much. How do I miss all the time? It's like 95% accuracy. Hey, that's a good amount of damage. Oh, that's a crit. Mm. Sludge Bomb. Into Rotom. Okay. I think we take another one of those. But now they have Fake Out Pressure. And also they're the fastest Pokemon on the field because of our Trick Room. Um, I think... I'm going to go ahead and switch Necrozma in here. And I'm going to go for the wood hammer on Landorus. I think if they're going to sludge bomb again, that's our best play. But they could just, you know, I mean, they might just parting shot. But if they parting shot, they can't stop our trick room, maybe, if we can KO Landorus. This is the last turn of Trick Room.
People make you think, man. I f Let me tell y'all. Fake out. Oh, that's perfect. That's great. Sludge bomb. Do it. Oh, we get the wood hammer first. That's still... That's two intimidates. Earth power? No! Oh, pfft. They thought they was going to switch it on that slot. Okay, we made a good play. Do you think Grassy Glide KO is here? Mm -hmm. I don't know if Grassy Glide KO is here, to be honest. Ooh, it doesn't matter. We don't get to do that. Okay. Um. Huh. I don't like that. Let's switch in Rotom again. And let's just Woodhammer again. We should get it off, I think. And it might KO. That means nothing else switched. They Sludge Bomb the Rillaboom. Rillaboom, no, he was too young. Give me your Zacian, you coward. That's really annoying. We don't have Protect. What comes in? Actually? Wait. What comes in? This might be okay. Because we have Sash, right? We have Sash. And we're faster than Landers. I think. I'm pretty sure we're faster than Landers. Okay. I'm gonna overheat. And I'm gonna blizzard. And we're gonna hope we just take two KOs this turn. Ah, dang. Okay. That's fine. That's fair. They didn't bank on being able to just KO our Ninetales, which kind of sucks. What does Zacian do? Close combat. Ooh, that might just KO. Uh... I'm frustrated. <laughs> I hate Incineroar. Incineroar needs to go home. You've done enough, man. Go home. Take a nap. Yikes. That sucks so bad. That was not a piece we could afford to lose. And it's Citrus Berry. Oh, those were not pieces we could afford to lose when we did. Alright, I'm just going to Sunsteel Strike and protect my Ninetales because that's really all I can do. Keep the Focus Ash intact for as long as we can, I guess. Ah, oh, they call it right. They're in a close combat. Oh, Behemoth Blade. Okay. Alright. Sun Still Strike. Um, let's just Aurora Veil this turn, I guess. I I can't really do any damage to Incineroar. Dang. Oh, man. Close combat. I think we take that. We only barely take that. And if the Incin is faster than us, then we go down to Flare Blitz. Parting shot. Why not Flare Blitz? You could have just taken the KO. Maybe they didn't know that they were faster than us. Oh, they had to have because they parting shotted. Alright, Necrozma, buddy. I need a crit. I need you to KO the Zacian right now. Please, can you do that for me? Because you're going to go down to, you know, things this turn. Can you at least KO the Zacian so that we can say that we KO'd the Zacian? Hey, we did it! We KO'd the Zacian! 
And now we lose you to hail. And I'm sorry. Your sacrifice is probably in vain. But it's okay. I, there's no way Ninetales wins this. Unless they just don't have Flare Blitz. I have to protect this turn too. Which really sucks. Because I, I can't afford to get faked out here. Yeah, um, this is what I what I mean when I keep saying that positioning is so key. Because, like, in theory, we had the tools we needed to deal with these Pokemon, but because they kept switching so much and Incineroar was such a good Pokemon, there wasn't really much we could do about it. Maybe we get a freeze. Maybe we can freeze Incineroar for a turn, right? I think Flare Blitz thaws it out, but, you know, whatever. They might just switch their, their Landorus out so they don't lose it. They gotta have Flare Blitz, right? If they have Darkest Lariat, maybe we can win. But I doubt it. Freeze? Freeze. <gasps> Flare Blitz thaws it out, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. Oh! I'm so sad. That didn't even KO. We didn't even use our Focus Sash. It's fine, because Aleki's gonna KO us, but like, man. If they'd gone for any other move that turn, it might have been okay. Okay, Aleki. Yeah, like I said, we're probably just gonna win, lose, win, lose, win, lose because that's uh that's how I play. That's the that's my play style is I like to win and then lose and then win and then lose. You know, it's a it's an ancient strategy. Um, I think I'm probably gonna cut it here for the next video. Um, so uh, if you liked the video, remember to leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what Pokemon you want to see. I'm trying my very best, but man, sometimes these matches. Just, did it get so tiring? <laughs> I'm so... I get so sick of Incineroar on every damn team. It's kind of nuts. Um, yeah, with that, my name's Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.